Thank you. I love Detroit. Start the slides. I love Detroit. Love Detroit. I actually have not spent too much time in Detroit because 45 days ago, I became a father to a little daughter. Yeah, you can clap that out. Thank you. Thank you. Now, before this, I wasn't really the fatherly figure. You know, I hated babies, but you learn to love your daughter, okay? You learn to love your daughter, and they don't teach you that in things like classes and things. And people ask me, they ask me, Henry, what's it like to be a father? What's it like to be a father? It's like taking care of a drunk person 24-7. I talk to my daughter like I talk to a drunk buddy in Las Vegas. It's like, hey, bud, why are you crying? Are you hungry? No? Let's, let's stand you up. No, can't walk? All right, I will carry you everywhere. And babies are multi-talented, too. They're multi-talented. They can eat, and they can poo at the same time, right? And it's a talent because I can't do it myself. I can't do it myself. I can't imagine myself eating a bowl of cereal while sitting in the bathroom stall. I can't do it. I remember one time yesterday, I was feeding my baby, and I have her like this, and you feel a little bit of rumbling in the pampers. And I've learned, as a father, I've learned that that means she's pooing. Well, this went on for five minutes straight, okay? Went on for five minutes straight. I, I couldn't believe how such a small thing can poo so much, okay? It's like, Golly, where does it come from? When is it going to stop? So normally, after I'm done feeding the baby, I sit her on my lap, and I pat her on the back, and she burps. But I wasn't going to do it this time because her, her diaper was full, okay? I didn't want to put seven pounds of pressure on that. Imagine putting seven pounds of pressure on a Hot Pocket. <laughs> right? It just be... Molten lava cheese all over the place. It'd be everywhere. It would be spewing out the sides. I wasn't going to do it. So as a father, I did what was natural to me. I called my wife and I did the handoff. <laughs> I call it the poo and pass. I perfected it over 45 days. And you can't have nice things anymore. You can't have nice things anymore. I mean... I have stains on my sweatshirt. I have stains on my jeans. I mean, I have new stains on my sweatshirt. I have new stains on my jeans now. And I smell like vinegar all the time. I hate it. Yeah, that's right. I said vinegar. I smell like vinegar all the time. And you find out, too, when you're a father, that there's a world beneath your knees. There's a world beneath your knees. I remember I was packing up the car. I had my little baby carrying case. And I had my, and the boxes, and I was packing the car, and my wife had nothing, and that's how it goes now. When you have a kid, you have to pack the car. So I had that. I was packing the car, and I said, you know what? I'm going to be a nice father. I'm going to be a nice father, and I'm going to start the car so that it'll be warm for the baby. I'm going to be a good father. So I start the car, and I turn around, and for a very short split second, all I see is this exhaust in her face blowing poisonous fumes into her face, and she's smiling. She's smiling. So I run over there, split second. I pick her up like this. I pick her up. I'm like, look, baby, you cry when there's no reason, yet when you're in a deadly situation, you laugh. We got to fix that. And also, don't tell your mother. So the final lesson, the final tip as if I've been giving you tips this entire time. The final tip is when your wife is in labor and she's delivering and the, nur and the nurse asks you, do you want to see the head? The answer is no. Okay? Because once you see something, you can't unsee it. 
Thank you very much. I love Detroit.